We're back with another quick video to show you how to add a loop to your own personal loop library. You can either do this with MIDI or audio, and I'll show you both. So let's say I've created some MIDI, either by recording it or importing it or writing it in a piano roll, and I want to take this MIDI region and turn it into a MIDI loop that I could reuse in another project. So I'll select this loop, click Edit, say Add to Loop Library, and then I can name it here, and if I want, I can add the key. So I'll say it's in G major, and that will help later on when I'm using this loop, I'll know what key it's in, and it will make transposition easier. I'm not going to select one shot, because this is not a one shot. One shot is something that's not loopable, like it would be one sound. As you can see here, maybe one kick drum or snare drum or one sample. This is a phrase that could be repeated, so it's a true loop. So not a one shot. And that's it. Click add loop. And now I can see that that has been added to my personal loop library. The way that you get to this is you can clear out your loops tab and click my loops and then you'll see your own loop library here. I can also add an audio file or an audio region to my loop library. So here I have a little drum clip. And let's say I want to reuse this for something else. Again, I'll say edit, add to loop library. I can change the name if I want to. And this is a drum loop, so it doesn't have a key. And it's not a one shot because it's a loop and it has multiple notes. And that's it. Say add loop. And then that will add that. So you'll notice here, this icon means it's an audio loop. And this little musical note icon means it's a MIDI loop. So by adding to my loop library, I can make it easier for myself in the future if I want to use my own loops. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.